Hey Pisces, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for January 2018. So Pisces, before we jump in and talk about this social creative month you've got coming up, I want to tell you about my new feature I've got going all of 2018. It's $3 Thursdays. The third Thursday of every single month I'll be doing a live but private, much more intimate, much smaller, a chance for question and answer. I'll be teaching it about an astrology concept or principle. All you do is sign up, bring your chart, and we're going to go over and I'm going to show you some really good aspects you can work with and how to understand them within your own chart. So super cool time. I hope to see you in there. January 18th is our first $3 Thursday, and we'll be talking about business timing in astrology. So when to start a business, end a business, sell something, buy something, when do we release that new product. How do I know if I should work with the products chart or my chart, right? These are questions you'll want to have answers to. So anywho, get signed up. I look forward to seeing you. All the info is in the description box down below, okay? All right, Pisces. So this month, man, it is a month of moons. You are a water sign, so I feel like there's a lot of sensitivity going on, but I don't feel like it's horrible. Like, I feel like this is good stuff, actually, especially because the first moon that we have for the month sits in Cancer, a fellow water sign, but for you, it's in the fifth house. This is the house of joy. I really feel like as we start the year, you're in a position of joy. Pisces, you've gotten to watch yourself over the last year, make some moves, make some different decisions in your career, make some different decisions in your relationships. So I feel like as we're coming into 2018, there's a lot to celebrate. There's a lot to be happy about. There's a lot of play to be had, right? So I feel like this is actually a really beautiful moon for you, especially because it sits amidst um, a grand trine involving your ruling planet Neptune. And a grand trine is a very big pocket of opportunity. And it's very positive. So just lots, this lunation has lots and lots of good things in store. Now, one of the things that I'm thinking about <clears throat> just as I look at the aspects of the ephemeris here, is that of course, this is the house of true love, right? So you could certainly have a romance coming to you. You could certainly have a romance that is ending. You have the opportunity to end it, but I feel like this is a little bit more personal for you, Pisces, where it's like, you know, really loving, supporting, enjoying the people around you. Like you're happy to be around the people who are around you and you're kind of willing to celebrate that. For my Pisces who have children, this could be a wonderful time for them as well. Maybe you're getting good news for them, about them, with them. Whatever it is, it seems to be very, very positive. One of the other things I think of when I think of the fifth house is how incredibly creative and expressive it is, right? You're more creative as a sign than the fifth house, but the fifth house is more expressive. So maybe something that you've been working on, you're ready to express, you're ready to share, you're ready to put out there in some way, shape or form, whatever it is, whatever you've been working on, if you're willing to launch it out, the investment in yourself is very, very positive. Now, as we get to the 12th of the month, we're going to see a very loaded 11th house, Pluto, Saturn, Venus, the sun, and welcoming in Mercury. Now, what this tells me is, first of all, you may be doing some rethinking, relooking, re-editing, going over your friendship zone. The 11th house is friends, group networking things, groups, long range goals, technology, things like that, okay? So you may be looking over that friendship zone and you're very happy, I think, with who's showing up, at least I hope you are at this point. And if you're not, you're willing to cut some people from the team, right? But other things that could be coming on is just that you're social, you're out there, you're communicating a different version of yourself, you're communicating some creativity. I also feel like for you, this month is going to be incredibly important, especially by the time we get to the 16th and we have the new moon happening in this 11th house. Pisces, that you set up some kind of situation where if you don't understand something in technology or there's pieces of technology you're not using or your technology needs to be upgraded, you set up some kind of meeting with a professional, a group, people who can help you. There needs to be some innovative um, technological conversation happening and going on for you to come to the next level and for you to feel confident and comfortable in what you're working with. And this, when I say technology, I want to be clear that yes, computers, laptops, tablets, 
phones, all of these things, but technology too, technical things go outside of that. Pisces, you're creative. Do you honestly understand how to use those watercolors? Do you honestly understand how to use your camera? Do you understand how to use that microphone? Whatever it is that you're trying to grow into, whatever the technology or technical looks like, including, ah, this one's for you. For some of my students who may be studying technical things, don't be afraid to ask for help, okay? Now, on the 18th of the month, Venus is going to move into Aquarius on the 21st. We see the sun moving into Aquarius. So for you, wonderful opportunities here in the 12th house. It brings creativity. It brings harmony. Um, I do want to give you a caution. With Venus and the sun, they're very magnetic. There's life. There's just, it's such a beautiful, beautiful energy. Happening in the 12th house for some of you, even if you're in relationships, this is very much so a fair kind of energy. So you need to be, if that's not something you want in your life, you can't stop another person for just understanding all of the delicious you have. I get that. But if that's not a position you wish to be in when they come, you have to say, thank you. I know I'm all of this, but no, thank you. Now for other people, just be mindful. If you've had issue in your relationship, this is set up for a fair kind of energy. And I'm not saying I support, condone, or go against it. I have no judgment on you on that, but just be mindful that that's what this energy can certainly bring in. Now, one of the other things I think that this energy can bring in is healing. A lot of healing, right? Um, fear, closure, letting some things go, and working on a creative project here as well. So you've got kind of a mixed bag of nuts with what's going on in this 12th house right now. But either way, if you stay focused, it can come out and be something definitely very positive for you. Now on the 27th, Mars is going to move into Sagittarius. This moves to the top of your chart, so up here in the career zone. And when I say career, remember I'm just saying soul level calling, what you have to give away to the world. So it doesn't matter if you work for a corporation, work for yourself, you're retired, stay at home parenting, absolutely unemployed. It doesn't matter. What I'm telling you here is what do you have to give away to the world because Mars is giving you action to move towards that right? If you've, what you've got to give to the world is an application so you can get a job. Okay, cool. That's what this energy is about. If what you've got to give to the world is a lot of nurturing, Mars is helping you move towards what you have to give your soul level calling. Now, for some of you too, with this Mars up here, you may be taking a promotion. You may be really working on something in this career, putting something out there, changing your reputation, right? And for others of you, I will tell you with this Mars here, some of you will change status because Mars gives you the motion to change your status, which could look like maybe you do get a promotion and become a manager. Maybe you get married, right? A beautiful change in status is definitely available here. Now keep in mind as well, where Mars brings energy in this movement and it's yes, you know, Mars likes to bring conflict as well. So pay attention at work. Now you've already got this affair energy, okay? And this, you've got all of this social energy in Capricorn, Pay attention to what's happening for you in a work-related space, okay? All right, at the end of the month, we've got our third moon, and it's the lunar eclipse happening in Leo for you lighting up the sixth house. So this lunar eclipse is a total eclipse, so it's going to blot out. Right? And when we blot out, we have an emotional reset. So for you, Pisces, I feel like here in the sixth house, you could be having some different thoughts in your professional life. I really honestly feel like it's showing you a lot of joy that you have around your professional life. Or it's showing you where, if you are off track in some way, shape, or form, where you want to just adjust a little to get more on track. But ultimately, <clears throat> this energy lasts six months up to two years, depending on your chart. So it's really very helpful in your career zone for setting you on a new track, right? Or to just help illuminate or reset your enthusiasm about the track that you are on. Now this house as well, one of the things I'm thinking is of course your health. You could be having a reset with your health. Something could become apparent with your health this month as well. But it's also a really big space of service. So you could be feeling very servicey. You're getting out of yourself, Pisces. You're really trying to do a lot for others and things like that. So really beautiful month, I feel like. We've got some trying energy, certainly enough water energy to like, you know, last us for a month. And some really cool options for you to start having some different conversations this month, Pisces, that push you forward or get you more familiar, especially with these tech-related things that can help you be more comfortable in doing what you're trying to do. So 
I love you, Pisces. Have a beautiful January. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in February. Bye.